In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect member mouse to the Authorize.net test gateway. Under on-site payment methods, we just select Authorize.net, and then we check off Enable Test Mode, and a number of links show up. The first thing you'll need to do is sign up for a test gateway account. You can do that by clicking this link here. All you need to do is go ahead and fill out this form and click Sign Up. Once you've signed up for your test gateway, you can log in to the test merchant interface by clicking this link here and entering in your credentials. Once you log into your test merchant interface, you can get your API login ID and transaction key the same way you do in a standard authorized.net account. I'll go ahead and save this. And I'm also going to go ahead and configure test data. So while I'm testing my checkout forms and purchasing products, I don't have to manually fill out the checkout form over and over again. So just click Configure Test Data. And I already have it checked off as using test data, and I filled out all of the test data I want to use for my testing scenarios. And I just click Save Test Data. Now notice that the credit card number I'm using here is a valid Authorize.net test credit card number. And it happens to be the test credit card number for Visa. For your convenience, we've provided a reference for all the valid Authorize.net test credit cards right on this page. Just click on Test Credit Card Numbers, and you'll see a list of all the valid test credit card numbers for each credit card type. Now let's go ahead and make a test purchase. I go over to the checkout page, and because I've elected to use test data, the checkout form is automatically filled out with all of the test data that I've entered in. So all I need to do is click Submit Order. And now my purchase went through successfully. Now if I want to, I can go over to Authorize.net, and I can view the results of the order I just placed. Now I just purchase a product that has a 15 day free trial and then goes into a monthly recurring billing schedule. So as a result, there isn't going to be any charge today, but there should have been a subscription set up in my recurring billing area. So I'll go to Tools, Recurring Billing, and go to Subscriptions, and sort by created date. And here we can see the order that I just placed. And if we click on the subscriber ID, we can see more details. And we see that it's a 15 day free trial and then $19.95 a month. Set to start billing on the 17th of March.